What do you think about the results that you saw first blush? What is there to like that investors are most holding on to, and does it hold into tomorrow? Uh, the Azure growth of 31%, I mean, that's a big jump. Um, the expectations were 28%. And frankly speaking, going into the quarter, we thought anything above 28 would be a welcome. I mean, this is a very big number, uh, frankly, given the current macro conditions. Is there anything bad in this report, Anurag? I mean, every, every headline I'm seeing come across the terminal is a beat. They're even handing out more capital to shareholders. Uh, they seem to be beating everywhere. Is there anything that we can point to as a risk for this company right now? Yeah, I'll let you know in one and a half hours when they give <laughs> guidance because that's really what's going to dictate what's happened to the stock tomorrow because that 31%, they better find a way to either, you know, say they're going to be flat uh, uh, growth rate next, next quarter for 31% or better, you know, otherwise you're going to see a reversal of this. Right. I mean, is there anything that they could say that could really stop the party to the point that both of you have been making here, especially when it comes to spending in terms of kind of building up on future plans, particularly as it relates to AI. So one of the things you would notice right now in the last few weeks, non-AI tech spending is, has been weak. In fact, it's, it's been abysmal, whether it's Accenture and IBM and, and perhaps even Intel. So when you look at the AI part of it, that's probably what's driving a lot of what's happening with Microsoft. So they need to keep that momentum going. Otherwise, you know, it's, as, as I said, it's going, it's going to be a different story tomorrow morning. Talk to us a little bit about their efficiency. I mean, they obviously are beating across the board on every revenue line, but they're also extremely efficient and producing pretty solid margin. Where do you see potential future gains from efficiency coming from? See, the scalable model of software is something, now they have been spending quite a bit on CapEx and they've been investing quite a bit. Now, over time, that really translates into you know, high gross margins, how, high return on uh, those invested capital. And somebody like Microsoft, it can absorb a lot of these investments better than anybody else. Um, so I think there's a lot less spend on sales and marketing. Um, I think R&D is still okay. So, so there's a, it's a scale business, and then there isn't anybody out there better than Microsoft when, when it comes to scale in the software world.